Hello everyone, it's System here, and this is Sky Factory 4. Hope you're all, well, having a busy day. I, myself, am well. I'm having a real good one. So in between episodes, I did mostly aesthetic building, a little bit more of auto crafting, but it was really just what we did yesterday, just uh, without the smelting. I'll show that in a second. I did build a little housing for our setup yesterday, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. It just, uh, it looks legit, man. <laughs> it looks like a wall of machine madness. I did go ahead and, uh, I guess uh, I didn't go ahead and do anything. I got like three comments in the last video. I think it was four actually about why I didn't <laughs> take the enriching factories and put them directly touching the smelting factories and auto eject. And the only answer to that is, well, aesthetics. I just wanted it to look like this, really. It's just like this wall of machines and particles shooting upwards with the trees. It just looks good. That's the only reason. Uh, these are kind of building up a lot of resources now. You can see here, they're almost full. I'm probably going to leave them full, too, because uh, I think that's over 20,000 with the 300 stacks. It's around there, like 18, 19, 20,000. And that's a good buffer. Honestly, I don't need hundreds of thousands of uh, ingots, you know, that's the thing. I did kind of add a whole lot more of the red terracotta around the base. Made little pods here for all the different setups. Got everything organized. Added a whole bunch of facades on top of our uh, Fluix cable, so that's cool. Made a couple more energy cells. Uh, some more drives. Uh, I didn't put any actual drives in them yet. I got to get to that. And I guess the other automation here was for this. So I just got a big giant line of all our different bonsais. I believe there's still like two holes maybe or three. There's like one or two or three more saplings we need. Then we're kind of done with them. But I did kind of automate some of them. I didn't automate all of them because some of them didn't need automation. I didn't bother with like these are the oak ones I think. Like acacia, jungle and stuff like that. Oh, I should grab those cocoa beans. There's still a few I need to kind of pipe things out of. Uh, one for instance is glowstone. I don't have the... Blaze powder going anywhere yet, so I need to deal with that. Uh, over here too, there's a quest later in the pack, or advanced, I should say, uh, to do octopal compressed um, netherrack. So I wanted to start that, so I got that going. Uh, there's a couple others I need to do too. So there was uh, wood, so I still need to get wood out of here. I don't have it in a drawer, uh, an actual, I guess it's a barrel. And I don't have sticks either. I just pulled them out of the bottom probably of some of these and then just do it that way. Then have some barrels over here, then more storage buses, so. Exactly the same thing we did yesterday with the uh, filters and the same jazz and the packagers are just down here. Except for I'm using item extraction cables to pull them into the barrel. So pretty cool, pretty awesome, and uh, pretty set up. Just need to, you know, kind of do the fine tuning, right? So I got to remember that. I need to make a list. <laughs> Blaze powder, sticks, wood, and there was one other thing and I've already forgot it. Anyway, uh, what else did I do here? Not much, I guess. Uh, I made those two pods there. That's going to be for the resource pigs. And I guess I just did... Uh, more of the uh, terracotta around the base, and that is uh, pretty much it. Uh, what we're going to actually get today, though, is going to be, we're going to get in the resource hogs, then get that kind of set up and automated. There's a bunch of resources here you can kind of get uh, that we can't get otherwise. So we're going to do that. Then once that's kind of automated set up, I'm not really sure. We'll kind of figure it out when we get there. And okay, we're going to get into the fantastic mod called, well, resource hogs. Over here, I have a bunch of materials that I kind of pre-crafted. So some smelting factories, some packagers, Absorption hoppers, so stuff we used all before, the barrels, stuff like that. But uh, that chest is ready to go. We're going to go ahead and do one item before we actually get in the hogs. Because uh, I don't want to have to listen to the hogs the entire time. So what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, make one of these here. Uh, yeah, what are they called here? Super sound mufflers. We're actually going to make a couple. Let's make like six or seven. Let's go over here. Let's go to string. Uh, that's sting. We don't want sting here. We want some string. And uh, this can basically either whitelist or blacklist sounds from world and uh, is pretty nifty. So we're going to make use of that. Anyway, let's go here, go to sound, grab the actual super sound mufflers and uh, maybe, oh, this one here. <laughs> you can also turn it into a bobble form, I think, and just wear it around with you. But uh, I'm not going to bother with that. But uh, they get this going, it's super easy. Just kind of take it, pop it in the ground. It's a little cool floating block. It actually looks kind of nifty. You go into it, has this whitelist, a blacklist. We're going to keep it on blacklist. Uh, we're going to turn the range to, like, I don't know, like 16. Then if you go here and go to recent, you can kind of find all the sounds in the area that are currently happening. And uh, we can just take that, and that's going to take it out of the world. So pig walking, gone. Another one is going to be pig ambient, and gone. And uh, now we don't have to listen to pigs anymore. <laughs> so just like that, we've handled the sound. Probably deal with, like, our mechanism machines, maybe. I, I could do muffling upgrades, but honestly, this is cheaper. And then maybe our chickens as well, but we'll get to that later. Just wanted to show it because it is a very useful block. If uh, some sounds are just kind of driving you after a while. Uh, what else do we have to get to here? Another one would be this here. We need to make the controlled miner. So uh, not at controlled. It's just called control miner. Uh, it is from 
Cyclic, really cool little machine here. Used for mining, it can be given a tool. I won't be giving it a tool because I don't think we'll need it. If I have to, I guess I could, but uh, we'll kind of see how it plays out. I don't think we're need to. The truffles are kind of passive and that's what we're going to be doing is truffles. Uh, there's two different ways of kind of going out, uh, going about uh, with the resources from the hog. So if you go here and go to hog, you actually see that like there's bacon and there's truffles. If you kill these uh, hogs, it actually turns them into bacon and then you can kind of process the bacon. The other option is truffles. They kind of happen just passively with them standing on top of certain materials. They kind of dig up the truffles and then you process the actual truffles. We're going to go the truffle uh, route, but you could do the automated like kill factory if you want to. I just, I don't want to go that route. So we're not doing that one. Next thing we're going to do here is go ahead and make all these buckets of mud. So let's go to nuclear craft because there were a bunch we need to grab from this. We're going to do lithium. Let's grab you. We need to make the buckets of mud and they just take the materials, right? So that's all I'm doing there. Uh, let's go ahead, not silicon, there's boron, sweet. There'll be magnesium, I'll have to process that. Lithium, I already grabbed that, didn't I? Uh, there would be thorium, and there'd be uranium. So that's that. Then there were also materials from, it'd be at matter over overdrive. So let's grab that. We'll need two crystals, and I believe it was two blocks I saw of the tritanium. So grab two blocks, then we'll be able to make those muds. The last ones I think were from thermal, right? So let's go to the thermal for a sec. Uh, we could do steel, so let's grab you. I believe we could do electrum, so let's grab that. And what else do we have here? Invar, that was another one I think. I thought there was 11. What am I missing here? Oh yeah, Sapphire. Sapphire from Practical Logistics, which is a mod I'm just looking for a reason to use. So at some point we are gonna get into it because I've been wanting to use it for a long time. But uh, yeah, it just never impacts, man. So that's cool there. I think we got everything. We do need to process this stuff. So we'll just run that through the enriching. Then we got to run these guys through the manufacturing, get everything processed up. And then we can all make all our buckets of mud. Uh, that goes here. I want to keep them kind of organized because we're going to have a whole lot of buckets on us in a couple of seconds. Let's do you and you. And in fact, let's go in this here, pop that in there. Okay, I think we got everything. Did I grab my, yes, this right here. I need my man in the bucket as well. But uh, we're pretty much ready to go here. Let's go ahead and grab some dirt. Let's do that. We only have 18K. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and grab two of the dilithium. We're going to grab two of the tritanium. That's cool. Go ahead and grab two of the steel. Oops. I want to keep them separate, remember? So i got to be a little careful. There we go. So this is going to handle a lot of our materials that we can't produce otherwise. And, our, and just do it passively. We don't really have to do anything. It's going to be a really nice little thing for us, I think. Uh, which should be pretty nifty. Keep those ones. We'll keep a space between them so I can tell. <laughs> Got so many buckets of mud, man. I believe you could breed these guys too. We'll test that. Uh oh, bucket out of water. We gotta fix that. Bucket. Uh, where is it? Mandolin? Where did my bucket go? There we go. Two. Awesome. So we got all our buckets here. Let's go ahead and uh, head downstairs and uh, start converting these guys. Now, one of these has 12 in it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's this guy. So I'm gonna do the nuclear craft ones just so I can get all these kind of buckets out of our inventory. There we go. Get them done. So we go bam. It'll just convert them, right? So it just switches them over to that kind of hog. So we got the uranium ones, we got thormium ones, we got uh, whatever he is, probably lithium. <laughs> do that. And uh, yeah, just converts them. In time, they'll start uh, making truffles. They don't have to do anything special. Don't have to feed them, don't have to look after them. They just uh, kind of do it passively. Which makes them really cool. Then we'll just come over here and probably do the same pigs. Do that. Do the same thing again. Get these guys all converted. Then we're going to try breeding them real quick because I want to be sure that they actually turn into the other pigs all the time. Because <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll make it so there's like four of them in here. So it is a little faster because they aren't particularly fast from my understanding. Duh. There we go. Got a lot of pigs. Let's go ahead and grab uh, just some potatoes. I actually think we have some in our bag, right? Go ahead and do that. Head back downstairs, and let's pick two. Let's go with, uh, oh, it's gonna be hard to target. <laughs> That's the only problem. I could do a, what is he, Empire. Why'd they give up? They like gave up on life. Uh, let's see this guy, what's he? Tritanium and a Tritanium. And see if we actually get a Tritanium baby. And we do, that's actually really cool. So yeah, we can go ahead and make extra ones of certain ones. Tritanium is one I probably make quite a few of. Cause I want to get into that mod again pretty soon. 
But over here, you can see here, we actually got some of these truffles and uh, we're gonna be able to process these uh, pretty easily. Let's go ahead and uh, break that right there. Go ahead and grab ourselves our controlled miners. Probably do something like this right here. Wanna make sure that's off by default. Uh, requires redstone for right now, that's good. I guess they needs power anyway, so it's not that big a deal. But uh, can you guys move forward? I need you to move so I can, you know, make some room here. <laughs> Go away, man. Out of my way, pigs. Oh, they're gonna be horrible. Well, I could just pick them up, I guess. Fly them around over here and just say, like, get out of my face, piggy. Anyway, so that's good there. What we're gonna do is kind of turn on this little preview. It's gonna show you the area that it's actually gonna mine. Now that's bigger than we need. So let's set that down to seven by seven. I think I actually made these a weird number too. So it's like a uh, five by six. <laughs> so we're gonna have to filter it a little bit. So it should be too bad. So we're gonna grab one of these, need that as well, which is cool. The, you can set this little blacklist here and I can tell it not to mine the diagonal fence or the mineral wood, and that should be good now. What else we can do is make it so it's only mining one layer. So it's only gonna mine right there. Then I don't have to worry about telling it not to mine the rest of the blocks and uh, it won't destroy their pen, <laughs> basically. Let's do that there, and uh, that's cool. That looks good. So everything's good there, awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, set this one as well. Do that, I guess I have to do you, cool. And then take you and pop you there. Yeah, that should handle that, right? Cool, where did I get the extra fences from? Oh yeah, the two from the, where they were sitting. Anyway, these are set up here, they're good. Let's go ahead and grab, hopefully, some leadstone flux ducts. I think I have some. No, I have uh, hardened, right? And then we'll need a point. We need to get these things powered. So we're just going to power them probably from underneath. So something like that there. Something like this here. Go ahead and uh, get the power on them. So like there and there. I'll have to run the points, I guess, underneath. Do something like this down here. So we're just going to power these from the bottom. And then we'll have another machine. We're going to use the packagers as well because the packagers are our friend, they'll be able to take the truffles and just automatically turn them into the resources and make our lives a little easier. So uh, turn the power on there, awesome. And then turn the power on this one. I set one to redstone too, didn't I? So I have to fix that really quick. I can't remember which one I did. Always on, that's cool. So that should be working, right? Yeah, one dropped in the world. You can see there, they're actually dropping in the world right now, which is fine. We're just gonna have to do some item collection here in a second. Preview that uh, mining height one and always on. So we'll do that there. Now the next part of this will be to, I guess, grab our packagers, which uh, did I not actually make the packagers? Oh, they're right here. <laughs> I'm looking at the raw give door bed. Anyway, let's go do that. And that, then we're gonna grab these absorption hoppers and use this to actually pick up the items uh, and just feed it directly straight into uh, the packagers, so that'll kind of save us a step. I mean, let's do that. Let's go to, uh, it'd be down, right? Up, no, I guess, why am I doing down? I mean, <laughs> up when I know it needs to be down. So that one should be good there. This one we will also set down, item. And that one's already grabbing stuff, so that's good. This one isn't doing anything yet. I obviously have something set wrong here. Always on, I want on seven by seven. Always on, preview. Oh, there we go, it's grabbing them now. And we just need to kind of set the area on this a little better. So we've got to show, we need to find the offsets here. It's not that way. It is probably this way. Oh, we're going the wrong way. There we go. That'll kind of just do that entire area right there. And then we know which way to do it this way. So let's go ahead and fix that one. We picked up the rest of them. You can see there, it's already turning them into resources, which is exactly what we want. And this one's already turning into dust. And uh, we already have the first part of this done. Now, the next part of this is going to be, well, I guess getting it processed. Uh, one of them is already processed. It really just needs to uh, be pumped into a storage. I guess this one here. This one here is going to have to go another step, of course, and uh, go into the smelting, uh, the uh, smelter, elite smelting factory, and then process it that way. So we're just going to pop it right there, set up the side probably to uh, input from the top. And I guess we could use translocators, or we could even just use one of these, right? Item extraction cables. This won't be uh, a particularly fast kind of thing. It's going to be an overtime thing. I'm extracting from the wrong side though, so let's fix that. <laughs> hey, wait. Do that there. Set the extraction. The extraction looks good. Let's look down here. It's getting its dust. It's processing the materials. It's never going to get backed up, I don't think, unless I get a whole lot of pigs in here. That is good. So yeah, we're going to get the first two stages done. 
because the last thing we need to do is actual storage, the Intel AME uh, system where the stuff is at, then we move on to something else. So to get this hooked up to the storage, we should just need a line of flux down here probably. Probably work pretty well. Let's uh, see what's down here. I think there's gonna be a lamp right there, right? Yeah, definitely an issue. Let's kind of get under it. There we go. And bring the line down here. I could facade all this later. Uh, that isn't too big a deal. Awesome and awesome. I think we can change that sound too, like the breaking sound. We can muffle that as well, which I may do here in a couple minutes, because uh, that sound isn't uh, too good either. <laughs> anyway, uh, on this, we can get this uh, kind of extracting really easy. Just use this extraction cable and some of the regular item cables, right? We could do something like that. Then we could just run these straight in the drawers from here, I suppose. Probably taking it towards the pipe would make more sense. How would we do this? I would do something like, yeah, let's just do, I did not mean to do that. Uh oh, uh oh, we're breaking stuff. <laughs> I just lost something, but it doesn't matter that much. So I want it on the back, right? So that, that should pull something in, I would think. Did I just get like everything out of that by mistake? Oh well, doesn't matter too much. So the dilithium's already in there. Then we'll have to go ahead and run item cable on the back. So something like that. There we go. And this should pretty much sort itself. Because it's going to try to put it here first, then here, then here, then here, right? So uh, as the last two items, I think I dropped one, like I said. I know I got dilithium right there. There we go. And there's one more too. Oh, the tritanium. I must have dropped tritanium. Oh, it's right here. There we go. I guess we get them all sorted. <laughs> <laughs> panic for nothing. Wasn't really panicking. But uh, yeah, they just sorted themselves. So I don't really have to do anything there. But I uh, will just throw the storage buses on the bottom. And then, yeah, just get them hooked up to the system here. And uh, this part will be done for this one. And we'll just have to go and do the other one really quickly. And then we can move on to something else. There we go. So that one's taken care of. The system should be able to see all that stuff. Then I guess we would go this way, right? One, two, three, four, five. I guess the one, this one will be five, right? Then we'll just go... Like this. Awesome. And then we just need to run the items into the back of this one. So we'll just go ahead and grab a item extraction. We will have to configure this one to output through the bottom. So the bottom would be not there. It would be right here. There we go. Then item extraction. These uh, cyclic pipes are a little weird too. They actually hold items in them. So there's like a little buffer there you can't actually see. But uh, definitely a thing. And uh, that's good there. Just need to grab a couple of these storage buses. Kind of get them in place, right? So there, 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 and there. And that should be good. I'm just going to leave them down there. Uh, we don't really need to show those. And I would have to do some janky piping, I'm thinking, um, to <laughs> get it up there a little more. But I want to show off the pens more than anything. I may actually change this to glass, too. I don't know what color, though. I'd go with, like, a yellow. Yellow wouldn't look too bad, although we don't have yellow in our base. I could do a white glass, I guess. A white glass wouldn't look too bad. Uh, the tickers one. I'll definitely do the tickers glass because it's like clear, right? But I think I will do that. So that's the thing. Maybe it'll be on the thumbnail. Namel? Thumbnail? <laughs> anyway, English is hard. But anyway, that's that. Those pigs are actually automated now. If we check the system now. I think we used uh, all of our sapphire. Let's see if we got more sapphire in here now. Because, uh, yeah, we have the ore, but we have two more. So it's actually coming in now. So this is going to be a fast system by any means. If you want it fast, just make more hogs. And I will breed some of them a little more. The tritanium one, I'm probably going to get like eight pigs for a bit. Then probably tone it down later on. And the nuclear craft ones, maybe you guys can tell me. I've never done nuclear craft. How much do I need? Do I need like tons of that stuff? Or just a small amount? Because I, I really don't know. If I need a ton, I'll just breed more pigs. And just kind of sort it out. At least I know which one of those materials I actually need. So yeah, that's that. That is uh, pig automation. It is uh, done really easy. And uh, we'll ramp it up uh, if we need to. So, yeah, let's get to something else. And the last thing I think we're going to work on here is actually going to be our last three saplings. So the first one we need to get is the Ardite. I uh, just need another star. That's easy. I need to get a Magma Slime Sapling, but uh, we can get that easy as well. Then we need a Purple Slime Sapling, which I already have. Uh, I think I did this on my own time, maybe. Yeah, it was the Stabilized Redstone uh, in the cauldron but you can just kind of melt that down in the uh, ticker smeltery then a blue slime which we already had so that one was easy but uh, we do need to get this a pristine wither, wither matter and uh, my deep learner is actually gone so we have to grab one of those real quick let's go to uh, deep learner grab one of them this got dropped in the void when my backpack went there uh, we also need a wither data model so go ahead and grab that and uh, we will have to get this up to uh, I guess basic level 
which isn't too bad, but uh, I guess we'll start here. There we go. Grab that puppy, pop it in there. I lost three of my data models too. Which ones I lose? Skeleton, winch, and uh, zombie. I lost all three of those, which kind of sucks, but is what it is. And uh, I guess over there, that one needs a cobalt sapling. That one needs uh, glowstone ingots. Let's get those glowstone ingots, I guess. Glowstone, we have two of them. Let's go ahead and uh, make two more. We'll do that right there. We can just osmium compress those two really quickly. For a machine, this machine, like, you don't use it very much at all. <laughs> you really don't. It only really makes two materials. And you don't even use it that much in the mod, actually. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Then I guess the next thing we would need is to get our saplings. So let's go ahead and grab two chests here. We'll do a little temporary setup here, which is really simple. So we just go down here. Because I'm just filtering the saplings to basically never come to the system, right? They're going nowhere. They're just sitting in the bonsais. So we're just going to kind of grab them. Pop them over here, and I think it's 5% chance. Yeah, we already got the purple. Uh, we didn't get this one yet, but it doesn't matter too much. Then we're gonna head back up to our, I guess our deep mod learning level. I know I have some of the pristine blaze, so grab that. We only need one of these, so let's make that into blaze rods. That's cool. And then the wither data model is gonna take like 2,000 RF a tick. But that isn't too big a deal. Uh, we do have to kill a couple withers though. I think three if it's the same numbers, right? So. Let's go ahead and grab some Wither Skulls. Uh, we'll also need some Soul Sand. Grab you. And we're going to do him the vanilla way. So we'll grab a uh, Piston. Let's do Piston. Let's grab you. <laughs> there we go. And I guess a Lever. Let's grab one of them. Sweet. And what else do we need here? That and that. Then we need a Witherproof Block. So let's look at our options. We've got the Tiny Progressions one. That one's really easy to do. So let's go do that. And I guess we only need about nine of these to be safe. So let's do that there. And that should be everything we need to kill with her. Let's get some placement blocks or something. Some cobble. There we go. And I think we're good there. So we have that. We have that. We will need Inferium when we get to that one. But it's not a big deal. Then this one we just need one resin, right? And the Pristine. I think the Pristine is 10% chance at the basic. No, 5% at the basic. So we may have to let it run a couple times. But it's not too big a deal. Let's get polymer ready. Let's do that. And uh, let's go kill some withers, man. We'll actually you probably have to kill three of them uh, with our glitch sword. So we should get double points, right? Uh, I don't know if the points have been changed for wither because getting this one up to the max level would be utterly insane, I think. So maybe you get some extra points. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's do something like this. Let's bring it up here. Let's go ahead and grab a piston. Pop that right there. Then I guess we could just do the soul sand next. We'll just do the two. Then grab these skulls as well. Pop that there. We'll need our lever. Uh, probably right below here. And this is pretty much ready to go. We just need to make a little 3x3 three three of this uh, reinforced obsidian. And we're just going to push his head to this. Uh, he will suffocate. Hopefully he doesn't die to that. Because I doubt we'll get points. But uh, I mean, if I have to kill him an extra time or two, it's not really that big a deal. I mean, it's pretty safe. Anyway, that should be good there. Oh, I don't know why I took that off my bar. I need to still build stuff. <laughs> anyway, do that. That there, and that there, and we got Rorax. Uh, Head Grums is in the pack, so you get like random guys' names. A um, bunch of content creators and uh, mod devs, stuff like that, right? So, pretty cool. Just uh, see who was in there. At the same time, I'm not gonna look at him. I'm probably just gonna slaughter him, right? <laughs> uh, my sword got uh, kind of reset too, and my glitch infused. So, that sword is actually not as powerful as it was. Don't die to suffocation. So it looks like we got an advancement. We also got uh, four points, so that's not too bad. We only have to do it twice, so let's do that. Awesome. Pop that over there and uh, get this done. Get anything else? No. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait a sec. Did we just get some of those? Oh, we don't need that. All I'm going to do is data model, but uh, they still have to. I, I totally forgot about the Supremium. Um, yeah, we're going to have uh, free Supremium. I can make Supremium armor before too long. Um, right? We might be able to do that in the next video. Oh, I can also make the, uh, Supremium, uh, Furnace. Oh, we can get the good things. Anyway, let's not worry about that right now. Um, we are going to fight him one more time, though. So this is awesome. Uh, let's do you. Cool. Who do we get? Zeldo Caviar? I actually don't know that one. I usually know their names. I do not recognize that one. Anyway, definitely a person. I'm sure some of you know who it is. Me, not so much. Now we're going to go ahead and, uh, in them either way. <laughs> I 
And bam, there's another one. And I think he died to suffocation. So that one died to suffocation, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to do it a third time. So yeah, it's not gonna count if uh, they died to suffocation, unfortunately. So that is a thing. Anyway, it's the only problem with the setup, right? So right now we actually need to kill. Um, but I don't wanna deal with them flying around either. Or even with the cage, it could be a little sketchy. This thing is just so safe, the vanilla way. Fun way guy, there you go, there's a guy. He's a mod dev, he's a good guy. Uh, he helps a lot with these packs, so definitely give a shout out to Funway guy. He's good stuff. He's a good stuff. I have no idea. <laughs> He's a good guy, though. Anyway, let's get this last one kind of finished off here. Hopefully, this is the last one. If he doesn't suffocate on me. There we go. Ah, oh, we got it. Sweet. So, we're good there. We have everything there. I may leave this here for a little bit because I may take it to basic tier, but I'll do that on my own time. And then, I guess we have, like, everything we need. I was gonna have to run this through, right? I was gonna process this stuff in the data model. Um, but I just wanna get the data model in here now because we'd be silly not to. Let's uh, pull you out, I guess. Let's go ahead and do this here. Grab the wither data model and then pop that uh, in here, right? Here we go. Oh, it's here, right there. So that's gonna take uh, 2,000 RF, which is uh, pretty insane. Uh, just these polymer, right? But uh, 2,000 RF a tick can be pretty crazy. <laughs> You'd say what you think about it. Look at it go. So that'll go through. That is going to give us some extra pristines, which are pretty cool, which we can then use to get to premium itself or more nether stars, which is actually pretty crazy. So we'll build up a premium really fast, basically, which is uh, pretty cool. Huh? Awesome. Okay, so let's go finish our saplings, I guess. Uh, what do we need here? They are right here. <laughs> go ahead and uh, grab a magma. And we'll want a uh, slime. Let's grab you. And we're going to need to put these guys back. Because, well, I want them back in their homes. You and you. Then we should be able to straight up make the Ardite sapling, right? So we go to uh, here, I guess. Grab you. Tell that. There's our Ardite one. Let's go ahead and make a chest. Because we need a piece of the resin as well. Also need to uh, set the filtering rate uh, on the boulder for the filing cabinet. But anyway, let's go ahead. What else do we need here? Mulch. Mulch is another thing. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Maybe not. Uh, I don't have a bonsai. Helps if I grab one of those. I'm all excited now. Now that I saw that Supreme, it kind of threw me off. Because uh, that other armor is amazing. Like, this is good armor. But that, um, that other armor is just insanely good. Um, mulch. Let's put mulch in there. Let's put Ardite in there. Not like that. Not like that, man. Here we go. Get that filtered. Awesome, maybe. There's a piece of resin on the... Can we make the cobalt now? We can make the cobalt. There we go, all the trees, man. We just finished that one off. And I guess effectively we could do this as well though. So we'll go ahead and break that. Sweet. Go ahead and grab the drops from the cobalt. And uh, we should be able to make the prosperity. Uh, we just need to come up here, I believe. And I think I have a bunch of that for processing something. I honestly can't remember what. <laughs> and uh, we got a cobalt sapling. And then we grab, uh, what do we need? What was the last bit of this? It was the seeds, right? So we need uh, four of the seeds. One, am I actually out of seeds, really? Are you gonna make me go get seeds right now? I'm out of seeds, man. And there we go, we just need to make our prosperity sapling. We're good there. I guess I should keep another sapling on me as well. So we'll do that. And uh, we're good to go. I basically just need to set these guys up. And uh, it isn't really that big a deal because I have a prosperity place uh, set up here. Oh, I need to chest it first though, don't I? I didn't think of that. Uh, I need to bonsai this. <laughs> so I don't even know what the loot table is, to be honest. Do you uh, grab that? Then I'll have to grab, oh, I would grab the folders. So we're good there. Let's do that and that. And uh, what is the loot table on this puppy? Loot table, prosperity risen, prosperity acorn. So let's see what the use on these are. So that one is gonna turn into that. Or we just do the prosperity. So that's a super easy one. So let's grab the uh, folder here. Also probably want to do sticks and wood as usual. Let's do you and you. I need to get the filing cabinet set up, so it'd be the same for this. So that, oh, it also drops prosperity randomly. So that's nice, let's do you. Awesome, be that and a stick, right? Oh, this thing's already getting filled up. But anyway, it doesn't matter too much. Just need to get filtered, right? And these ones will be probably the normal recipe, so we'll just do that, we'll turn that into amber, and then a stick and a piece of wood. There we go. Then once the filing cabinets are set up, it's just a matter of setting up the uh, filter on the retrievers, and it's pretty much done, right? But the main thing is get them in the filing cabinet. So there's one, 
There's two, three, and four. Prosperity's done. Then we do Cobalt. Let's uh, actually throw you away. Do this one. We got Cobalt. Got more sticks. <laughs> sticks for days, man. And I guess we could do the Ardite as well. And then, yeah, we're already, already almost done, man. We got every sapling now, which is awesome. There we go. And a resource hog down. We got a lot of good stuff going on here. So let's grab you. And uh, I guess Prosperity is going to sit right over here. I have a little spot kind of safe for it. So open this up. And I guess we just need to clear this off. We will go to, which one is it? Prosperity right there. And just uh, stick that into little file folders. <laughs> there we go. Close that off. Do that. Pop that there. And where's my sapling? Oh, no. <laughs> it's in there, right? We probably got another one growing, right? Just do that. I always forget about the saplings. I get everything done, then I go, I don't need a sapling. I have everything filtered. And okay, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Just gonna let everyone know that I do have Discord. If you wanna stop it by, say hello, any of that jazz, join the community. Everyone is welcome, just uh, keep classy. That's all that I ask. Also, I do have a Patreon, so if you wanna think about maybe support me, move forward, making videos, that'd be absolutely fantastic. I currently do have three servers up, and uh, one of them is for this pack, so you could definitely check that out. But I, I am going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really do liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. And we guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.